Headlines now, the longtime accountant for a charity here in East Tennessee that helps abused children is behind bars. Police arrested 49 year old Angie Brown of Knoxville on Friday. She faces charges of stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from her employer, Child Help. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny has reaction from a leader of the well known charity. We work to help prosecute those instances of child abuse. For more than six decades, the charity Child Help has helped victims of abuse. Program director Eddie Smith says they help prosecutors put the abusers behind bars. In Knoxville, we have forensic interviewers that sit down with a child. We've helped thousands of children who um, are abused, they're neglected, uh, sexually abused, trafficked. But the latest criminal case for child help was not child abuse. It was theft and forgery by one of its own employees. Records show 49-year-old Angie Brown is charged with theft of at least a quarter million dollars. But the exact amount could be much more than that. Smith would not give any specifics about the employee or the case, other than to say it started with an internal investigation by the chief financial officer. He discovered some possible financial discrepancies in payments in our program here in Tennessee. Uh, they were able to identify the source of the activity and turn the matter over to law enforcement for investigation. So any questions regarding the investigation, I would have to refer you to the district attorney's office. The Knox County DA's office did not reply Monday with any specifics, but records show Brown's bond is set at $200,000. Smith says they're working to improve their own processes. We have continued to enhance our financial controls just to make sure that it can never happen again. What I want everyone to be sure to understand is that at no time were we not able to help children. So we have continued to fulfill our mission of helping the children that are most in need right here in our own community. Reporting in Knoxville, I'm Jim Athene. At last check, that accountant is still in the Knox County Jail with no date for her next court hearing.